Hey there, I'm Meg. I love vision boards, but they can really be a pain to make. Frantic flipping through magazines, hunting down and printing supplemental photos from the internet, cutting, gluing, then finding a place for that gargantuan poster board. Ugh. Last year, I hatched a clever way to reduce all of that hassle and create a vision board that made me feel ah instead of resentful by designing it on Canva. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design your most inspiring vision board yet using Canva, a free cloud-based design software. Let's get to it. Head on over to canva.com and create your account if you haven't already. Click the purple create a design button in the upper right. Click on custom dimensions and then make sure that you are on inches and not pixels. And here you're going to type in 14 inches wide by 11 inches tall and then that purple create new design button. I like 11 by 14 because I can easily frame and hang it on my wall. You could also use any standard frame size. If your printer isn't able to print that size, don't worry, I'll show you a trick at the end. So here we are on our canvas. On Canva, it's super easy to find photos and graphics. No more hoarding magazines. Click photos in the left sidebar for stock photos. Many are free and if you pay for Canva Pro, all the photos here are free. If you don't have Canva Pro, it usually costs $1 per image. If you're having trouble finding the right photo, browse the internet, download your desired photo, then upload it to Canva here. Elements are also a cool feature. You can search for the year, money graphics, and more. When you find an element you like, click on it and it will automatically appear on your vision board. You can move it around. Note the guides that pop up. This helps you center if you want to be centered. And you can also drag the edges here. So the corners, I mean, the circles on the corners, if you drag them in, it will resize it. And some images allow you to crop them. Not so much elements, mostly images. So let's just get an image. Let's say you want a dog. So you'll notice on the edges, there's these white lines. This allows you to crop your image. So then just snag it and move it. And we're gonna resize it. And then if you hover over this little switcheroo button, what it does is allows you to tilt your photo. And you know what? I'm actually gonna scoot this over here and I'll tell you why. Hold on just one moment. So I like to separate my vision board into categories. I keep my business goals on the left and my personal on the right. Then I divide them into subcategories. It might be travel or things that I want to buy or attract. So I'm just going to make a mock vision board now. And for the sake of time, it will be super sparse. So I'm literally just going to grab some random photos that I see. So we're going to call that a travel photo. Just pop it over here. I'm just going to delete that. <laughs> Let's say you want to like attract a million dollars or make a million dollars. Just scoot that around. And then I'm just going to go to elements. And I really liked this one for 2021. I will scoot that in the middle, then maybe resize that a little bit. Okay, so another feature that I love is text. Text allows you to add text to your vision board. So I am gonna grab that heading and we'll style it later, I'll show you how. So I usually add text to photos that I want to have a deadline on. So for example, let's say that you have a goal. It helps to have a date on that goal. So that way you and the universe have a deadline. So you can arrange your text using the same features for elements and photos. And I'll show you. So you can resize it like this. And you can also kind of move it around like that. And then up here is where you can change the font. 
and you can change the size. You can also type in here. You can make it bold. You can change the color. I usually leave it black. So let's say you're going to set a date. Canon. So you can drag it right on the image that you want it on. Now, hold on, let me make that smaller. So you can't really see this. It's, it's kind of tricky. So I have a tip. Head on over to Elements. Type in square. Come on. There we go. And you want to click on this gray square. And for some reason, it changes it to a different color. I like to change it to black. And then you're going to move it and resize it to fit behind that text. Just kind of get it to the best size that you can. And then you're going to click position in the upper right. Click backwards. Oh, and it looks like it went behind this photo. So we're going to position that backwards. Okay. Okay. So because it's black, it I guess it already was behind the text. But if it's not, do that position. And now you really can't see the text. So what we're going to do is click on transparency. And now you can see it much better. And we're just going to change this to white. Depending on the background of your photo, you may want white or black. So you see the date is so much easier to see. Now my next tip makes it easy to resize this whole thing. So you can either click on one element, hold the shift key, click on the text, and then you'll click on the rectangle behind it. Or, and this is my favorite way, you just click and drag until all three are selected. And you're going to click on group or command G on a map on a Mac. And what that does is allows you to resize all of this at once instead of having to resize each individual element. Okay, so let's say that your vision board is where you'd like it. If you have the right size paper and your printer can print on it, you're going to click download in the upper right, select PDF print, and then download again. You'll find the document on your computer, print it, frame it, and hang it. You're good to go. If your printer can't print to that size like mine, I have a trick. In the upper left here, you're going to click File, Create a New Design, Custom Dimensions, and then 8 point foot, whoops, hold on, got to switch it to inches. There we go. 8.5 wide by 11 tall create new design. This is just a standard sheet of computer paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy. So you're going to drag and copy. I recommend doing one section at a time, but there's not a lot in this vision board because it's pretty sparse. So I'm just going to copy the whole thing, head on over here and paste. Ooh, okay. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is definitely do that one section at a time and you're going to want to do it vertically because what happened was the images resized. Yeah, there we go. The goal is you want your image to stay the same size that it is on that 14 by 11 canvas. So what happened when I copied this whole thing and pasted it in here, the images shrunk to fit eight and a half inches wide instead of that 14 inches wide. So that's why you want to do it vertically by section. And make sure you don't resize your images, but you could move them, um, like angle them, so that way you can fit more on a page to waste less paper. And you will probably end up with numerous sheets of paper. But again, do your best to just kind of rearrange. And then you're going to click download, PDF print, download, find the document on your computer, 
print it out and then you will cut these images and again even though you printed them on eight and a half by 11 paper they are still sized for for the 14 by 11 vision board that you made so you'll cut them out and then head on back to this template so you can see how your vision board looks so you can easily cut and glue to your vision board using this as a guide so it looks exactly how you designed it on canva and that is it for even more Canva tips, check out the other tutorials on my YouTube account or my Create with Canva online course. It'll help you learn the ins and outs of Canva along with a bunch of other features that we didn't cover in this tutorial in less than 45 minutes. To learn more about goal setting, check out my blog. Everything is linked down below. Here's to making all of your dreams come true. I'll see you in the next video.